I am excited to be here. I had about a three hour drive to get here today and all the way it was raining. Raining, raining, raining. That's good and bad. You always need to get the rain. When you're driving, sometimes it gets a little slippery. I am glad to be back. I was here last year and spoke to a group in here not quite as big, so this is exciting to have so many people. Raise your hand if you're coming here today from the Capital School District. Raise your hand today if you're here from the Lake Park School District. <laughs> Wait a minute now, I was afraid that they're adding more to this. They're, they're whooping it up at the same time. Raise your hand if you're a mentor. Raise your hand if you're a new teacher. Raise your hand if this is the first time you've ever seen me before. Or is this the first time you've ever seen me? Before. How many people ever worked with me before? And they still are here. That says something. Okay, let me tell you what I've been asked to do tonight, and then we'll start to take a whack at it right away. When I talk to Pat and Jackie, and I've done a lot of uh, programs here, I've been the lead consultant for the Mentor New Teacher Program since it started. So we're now in the seventh year. So I've been around uh, Delaware for seven years now, traveling up and down the state and being in all the school districts. So they said, Steve, can you come this time? Let's do something different. We talked about a number of different things, and they said, well, how about doing something on uh, presentation skills? I said, that'd be great. Let me get you started today by sharing something from Tom Peters' book, The Pursuit of Wow. Tom Peters works in business primarily. He's a consultant, nationally known speaker, seminar leader, motivator, who works with corporations, businesses, and school districts all over the world. Listen to what he says in the beginning of this book. I love retail. Says. Retail as practiced by Walmart or Barney's calls for sophistication information systems. Whether you're a nurse, doctor, teacher, auto mechanic, or like me, most of the time, seminar presenter, you're involved in retail. Retail. It's up to us to invest the script. A play by Epson, food by chef, whomever. Chapter 7 of the U.S. History textbook, any of those, with life, to perform, to build the emotional links among ourselves, the material, and the audience. I believe as teachers, we are all many things. You may be at some time a doctor. You may be at some time a surrogate parent. You may be at some time a retailer a salesperson. How many people believe, as a teacher, one of your jobs is salesperson? I have to tell you one of my beliefs. I believe one of the things we have to do that's most important in our teaching is we've got to get the people we're working with to believe that what we're offering them has value in their lives. One of the things I'm trying to do with my audiences all the time is to get some kind of hook that what we're doing today has some relevance in what you're going to be doing tomorrow <coughs> as a teacher. And I've come today to share with you some of the things that I believe are important for you as a presenter, as a teacher. Now I know that there are a lot of changes happening in education right now. I know in Delaware, you've been faced with looking at performance standards. I know that's really important. I believe it's important. But I also believe unless you can make some kind of emotional hook, if you can make learning personal, you have a much better chance of making those standards work in your classroom. I believe that we as teachers, the most important thing we have to do is make that connection one-on-one -on -one with our audience. As many kids, as you can reach as many times as you can because when you do your job becomes easier it's when we don't make the connection we don't get the hook our job becomes harder teaching becomes hard work how many of you have ever felt like you're pulling teeth <laughs> you may have felt that way today <laughs> you may have been trying your very best to get that emotional hook but it didn't work. 
What I'm here to share with you tonight is a variety of ways that we, when we're presenting as a presenter, whether it be 10 minutes or 45 minutes, or whatever that time is that you're presenting as a teacher in any given day, some important steps that we can take to help you be more effective. I'm going to ask you tonight to work with a partner. How many are here sitting next to their partner in this program? Raise your hand if you are. Okay, good. I'd like you to work with that partner. If you're here without that partner tonight, I want you to find somebody else. Look to your left and your right. If you can't find somebody you like, change seats. <laughs> do that now. All right, right now I need to get a partner. We're going to do a quick warm-up. Are you ready? Yes. All right, let me put on some music for our warm-up. By the way, I didn't show you this whole quote here. Take a look at it. Yesterday's history, tomorrow's a mystery. Today is a gift. That's why they call it the present. That's why.
of the frog in the rainforest in Vietnam.